Want to make manga style edits like these? In this video, I'll show you three essential steps for this type of edit. Those are compositing, the clone effect, and the special shakes, and of course the camera movement, but it is needed for the clone effect either way. Start by dragging your background and character in your composition. Continue with cutting out your character. If you want to know how to cut out properly, check out my other tutorial. Align your background and character as you want and pre-compose the character. Add curves to the upper layer and do as shown. Set this setting to red as well as this and try to match your character with the background. Do the same with the green and the blue. As soon as you set this setting back to RGB, you'll see the difference. If you want a simple animation, just use the puppet tool, pin down your character, drag the yellow points and play around with the keyframes. Copy the upper layer and cut it like I do. Right click the position on the second and third layer and click on separate dimensions. Set keyframes like I do and copy my graph. Cut off the layers like I do, add invert, set the saturation to zero and copy it on to the other layer. Create a camera layer and null object. Link the camera with the null and enable 3D layer. Now the camera movement is completely up to you. Important is that you only use the position or rotation values. In my case, I just made a simple left and right movement, but if you want big motion like this, you have to make sure to place your character deep into your background so you have room to zoom out. Create an adjustment layer and add the preset I'll link down in the description. Pre-compose your character and background. After that, create two new adjustment layers that are one frame long. Add Edge Detect, set saturation to zero, and add Deep Glow with a color of your choice. At last, add Invert with saturation set to zero as well to the second adjustment layer. You can also use other one frames like halftone or mosaic. That's it. 